Hi Grace scholars this is another session for reasoning for grade 4 and we have brought chapter 5 for you counting of figures most of the time when you start working on figure counting you need certain tips and tricks that give you exact prompt answer so that's what we are going to learn here so two of the friends they were talking about my teacher taught me the counting of figures but he was confused so what is the way out so friend is telling him that could you see this giant wheel can you count the number of circles here can you find the number of triangles here and there was a hop and hop in the mind so let's help him out and he comes out with the answers that there are 12 triangles there are nine circles then he gives the answer that there are 12 triangles there were nine circles and then he asked him that could you see this dartboard can you find the number of circles here so this is what we learn looking at different figures that the figure has some triangles some squares some rectangles and we have to count them how many squares are there how many triangles are there and some tricks work there now let's take another triangle where we have horizontal line so a simple logic behind this is that we have two horizontal lines that makes two triangles now what if we have a triangle with both horizontal and vertical lines but what if we have a triangle which has both horizontal and falling lines so i'll give you a trick here we'll see how many horizontal lines are there we have two horizontal lines and how many partitions are there we have three partitions let's add them together that makes 6 and 6 times 2 gives you 12 so here we say we have 12 triangles so interesting now let's move to this figure here we first analyze that how many partitions are in the vertical form we have three partitions now looking at the horizontal again we say 1 2 and 3 three partitions more now if you need to know how many triangles are there seems quite difficult but i have a formula for you that is 2 times of 3 square minus 5 so 3 square is 9 9 2 times is 18 and 18 minus 5 gives you 13 so without actually counting we come to the conclusion that such figure have 13 triangles and what if we have four partitions here and four partitions here very simple you'll write two times of four square minus five and it works so moving further we are coming to more questions like this how many triangles are there in this figure now let's come at another question here we are going to count the number of triangles in this figure so we'll first count the outer triangles they are six right and along with that we have one triangle here and one bigger triangle here so six plus two makes eight wonderful and a is your right option that means you have to open up your brain and check it and verify it once again before you mark the correct answer now circles are given to you and you could see the circles are overlapping each other yes and when you need to check that how many circles are there the easy way is to mark the numbers so that none of the circle is left uncounted we started right away from the center we marked it one we moved one two three four five six seven and then the outer circles are marked and we say the 13 is the largest number so 13 circles are there in all now next question has another figure for you that is the embedded square figure so let's start from the center one is divided in four squares so four squares are there and plus one 
in the same way we have more 4 squares here plus 1 so it makes 10 in all and then we count these 2 squares so finally we get 10 plus 2 that makes 12 and 12 is your right answer. So we could see 12 squares are embedded together in this figure. So every time when you try these questions you will observe that it is improving your brain eye coordination, it is developing your cognitive skills, it is developing your spatial understanding and you are becoming much much better. So I recommend you to try doing these questions here you need to find the number of squares first start from the smallest size of the square and then keep increasing the size of the squares as you could see here the smallest one is here so let's count the squares formed with this size and after this we'll observe the squares are formed with little bigger signs and finally you will come up with the largest size of the square. So that way you will be able to see with your open eyes that it's opening your brain. Wow, another square found, another square is here and this will really help you to develop your brain. Then we have more question where you need to find the number of triangles. So your time begins now. Every time, every question is different. Every question will be your eye opener. And you will look the question with the glared eyes that you could see these many squares, triangles or circles in these figures. So my recommendation to you is that solve these questions by putting your 100% concentrate on your figure and stop diverging. That's the reason why we say that when you do such questions, it develop your concentrations as well. Now here we have a question, if the centers of all the circles are joined by horizontal and vertical lines, then find the number of squares that can be formed. So here the question is quite different. You are not going to find the number of circles, but you are going to join the centers of all the circles, both vertically and horizontally. And then after that, you are going to observe that how many squares are formed here. Look at the next figure, count the number of triangles in this figure. So another question where you have to look very deeply and find how many triangles are there. For this question, I have already given you the idea in the beginning that how do we come to know the number of triangles. You remember the formula? It was 2 times n square minus 5 perfectly answered and then we have more questions where we have to find the triangles. Remember the triangles should not be confused here with any other figure like in this figure you can also see more different figures being formed. Okay. Now in this question very interesting question here you have to first look at one circle and in this circle you will find how many circles are there inside it and then some of the circles are overlapping also. So this circle and this circle have the circle common so don't count it at two times this is most important tip I am giving. So coming to next question you need to know that how many minimum number of straight lines are required to form this figure. So this entire figure is formed by joining these straight lines. You have to count the longer lines so that we are not counting the smaller lines because the question is how many minimum lines are required. Okay. Then question is how many rectangles are there in this figure? Your time to just check out that how many rectangles are there and don't get confused with squares over here. So more similar questions ahead which you are going to solve. Coming to the next category of question here we have to first divide the given figure in small squares because you have to find how many squares like this are here. So we are going to first draw a net in which we divide the figure in small squares and then we are going to check how many small squares are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 9 becomes the right answer. 
in the same way here again you are going to make the net and you are going to divide the figures so this way you will get the answer for these questions when you do your brainstorming now it's your time to have fun with the snake and ladder and find out how many rectangles are there and how many triangles could you see so very interesting lesson so i believe you are ready to scribble on the paper and get the exact count get set go